Com. Mariel, want to send things over to you. You mentioned his son and the scarf and that picture that popped up. I mean, you would think that was from today, too. <laughs> I, I know it. Definitely. I definitely would need the scarf today. I mean, I still think that 36 is pretty chilly, even when compared to the last few days. That's exactly where Weatherford is right now. It feels like 26, so we are still dealing with a wind chill despite that southerly wind. Cedar Hill at 30 degrees right now, but the wind chill is down to 22. Beautiful blue sky overhead, so if I wasn't showing you the temperature, you probably would think it's a pretty uh, nice feeling day out. OK, so I did mention at the top of the hour that we have officially made it to 32 degrees, so we're at freezing. The last time we were at 32 was 6 p.m. on Saturday. Those temperatures did take a dip, but finally back to 32. A total of 89 consecutive hours at or below freezing so far. I'm expecting us to make it to 33 here within the next hour, bringing our total to 90 hours for this cold spell. And that's nowhere near the record. The record for consecutive hours below freezing is 295, and that was in December of 83. And other years uh, that were really long consecutive hours below freezing, anywhere between oh, 158 to 178, and that was in the 40s. We had one in the 50s, but the most recent one uh, was in February of 2021, 139 hours below freezing. And again, this time around, we only had about 90, so nowhere near. Uh, that just uh, a couple years ago. OK, 32 right now. It feels like 21 at DFW winds out of the south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. That southerly wind, like I mentioned, is responsible for helping those temperatures climb. And I am expecting again it to hit 33 sometime before noon at 37 around 1, 42 degrees for the high around 4. It'll still feel like the mid to low 30s, along with a south wind at 15 gusting up to 30, 42 the high in Dallas, Fort Worth, and in Denton, 41 in McKinney, a few 50s along our far western counties where the air is slightly drier and the sunshine is shining hard. Around 31 for the low tonight in Dallas, uh, 32 in Fort Worth and in Denton. So a few locations get very close to that freezing point, if not right below it for tonight and into tomorrow morning. But those temperatures climb even faster tomorrow. On Thursday, a high of 55. Now this is going to happen in the middle of the afternoon, but we have a front on the way. That front is going to bring a wind shift on Thursday, but the cold air is going to sink in late Thursday into Friday. That's going to bring our highs back into the 30s. So there's that Arctic blast that I was talking about. This one's short lived because I am expecting about 40 degrees on Sunday, 52 on Monday when rain returns, and I'll talk you through that. But here's a look at those temperatures just to the north there, Minneapolis at nine, but I'm looking into Canada and even north where there are sub zero temperatures. So well, that Arctic air makes another dip towards the south. I'm expecting the front to arrive at noon on Thursday, but that cold air will take some time to sink behind it. I'm thinking it won't be until Friday morning that you'll feel the impacts. So I'm going to take the clock back here because I do want to show you uh, what it'll do here. This is Monday around 11. So after that cold air uh, starts to really kind of taper back, we'll see this rain returning. Now, this rain is going to be a pretty widespread on Monday. I'm thinking about 80% coverage by this point. By the way, temperatures well above freezing. So look at this only green on the screen, meaning or indicating rain. Tuesday at noon, also looking at pretty uh, good coverage of rain, about 60%. That'll continue on Wednesday as our next front arrives in that front. It won't do too much to bring our temperatures down, but let me show you what these disturbances next week could bring. Uh, close to two inches of rainfall between Monday and Friday because we do have daily rain chances starting Monday. Uh, but until then, we are looking dry. Uh, it is going to warm up briefly today and tomorrow and then a Another shot of cold air Friday, Saturday, 40 degrees on Sunday, but Sunday night into Monday is when that rain moves back in. But at least this time, temperatures stay well above freezing. And like I said, as of now, it does look like we do see daily rain chances next week, Tashara. Okay, thank you for that, Maria.